Well, how about this? After several species of small lizards survived winds during the 2017 hurricane season, a team of scientists decided to find out how they did it using a leaf blower. <laughs> well, of course it was a leaf blower. It's yes. science. The That's leaf right. blower of science. A team of researchers decided on the research after they found lizards. They, they were studying survived oh. two major hurricanes. And Whoa! Session. Lizards with bigger toe pads, longer forelimbs, and shorter legs were better equipped to hang on during simulated winds of up to 180 yeah, miles per hour. You tell me that these lizards, these poor lizards, survived a hurricane, so then we're going to blast them with a leaf blower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brown too, fellows. You know, science. Huh? <laughs> they said none of them were hurt. in action. Wow. None of the lizards were hurt, according right. to the researchers. At least All right. we know why now. An iconic piece of American history up for auction. It's a political cartoon drawn in 1754 by founding father Benjamin Franklin. Right, it shows a snake. You've mm -hmm. probably seen this before. It's cut into eight pieces with the caption, Join or Die. Uh, really an icon of the Revolutionary War. Yeah, this cartoon uh, appeared along with Franklin's editorial about the, the disunited state of the colonies, and it helped make his point about the importance of colonial unity. And at the time, there was superstition, I, I did not know this, that a snake which had been cut into pieces would come back to life if the pieces were put together before sunset. Wow, that was about the same time if you sling a dead cat around in the graveyard at night, your warts would go away. Is that true? <laughs> I'm just, science. <laughs> Did not know. Science, I learned this from wow. blowing lizards with